digital era we are accustomed to artificial and robotic life we are sitting in front of these laptops and desktops compressing all our natural thoughts and leading a mechanical life how many of you agree with that oh good evening toastmasters and dear guests good evening good evening when i was wandering in my mind palace and exploring myself i just recollected the journey of my mind in this life which i'm going to share with you now it was on 22nd february 1995 my parents got promoted because of me you might wonder with my statement right but the thing is till 1995 february 22nd 11 hour 14 minutes 59 seconds there's just wife and husband but at 11:15 am i came into this universe and they became mother and father they are my biggest gifts along with this life and time my whole vocabulary is not suffice to explain my love and gratitude towards them coming to my school days teachers students and everyone used to love me for them pranay is a nice guy but i have just lived all those years i don't even know what's an enjoyment is the same thing continued till my plus 2 i was like a robot with some humanity after plus 2 even though there are so many paths to choose we all chosen parents defined path and same thing happened to me but luckily that defined path became my desired path i came to kl university to complete my engineering engineering colorful life colorful people different mindset different thoughts what not pretty exciting right our batch strength is 2500 and in that there are 546 fellow mates in my branch ec but i am an introvert with an extrovert mind i used to speak to very few people that to the persons who are sitting beside me in the class coming to the girls no need to think of them in my whole beaten i spoke to only one girl who else it can be my girlfriend no chance my friend's elder sister wo mere liye bhi didi hai i don't know why i am afraid of girls sometimes now also because of some people okay finally i entered the climax that is final year my my understanding got change i started understanding this life instead of just living it i started looking into the world in a different perception like a caterpillar changes to a beautiful butterfly my thought process also got changed it added wings to my life hey not because of red bull okay coming to my placements i want to share you a moment i told to interview you that sir i think different from others he asked me an example i told him like sir my facebook password is very different from others and it is 100000101010100101011 he just baffled me my state but the thing is it's just an ascii code of my name aps and luckily i got placed into wipro cts and infosys with this different thinking and i have chosen infosys infosys a memorable universe in this corporate multiverse when i first entered this mysore campus i literally wondered whether i shall step into a paradise or just a dream but it's not a dream it's a dream come true moment it gave me an opportunity to meet so many people across the world with different mindsets and different cultures i have changed my approach towards the people I started talking to them overcoming my introvert nature. Really, Infosys helped me a lot to enhance my thoughts and enrich them. And it gave me an opportunity to write poetry also. Sometimes motivational, sometimes romantic. <laughs> I am enjoying each and every moment. It's like my work life is also jo- joyful. I feel like it's a workalicious environment instead of workaholic environment. work delicious yeah it's a baby of work and delicious okay and i came to bangalore in 2018 and same thing continued here and enjoy it's all about how you mend your mind you need to have a control over it otherwise it will make you a slave for it try to understand it even though uh, it's difficult to define mind my friend pranay sagar 
Oh, yeah, it's me only. Because uh, anyone, everyone has a friend as themselves. So as for me. He told them, Pranay, mind is an amazing maze, passing through which amazes you, even though it's a mirror of you. Because it's an enigmatic view of you, upon you. You need to explore. He told me like that. And Stephen Hawking also told us, there is a lot to explore in this expanding universe. And I started exploring the universe within me and around me. And then Infosys Toastmasters Club appeared to me like a beautiful rainbow in the school climate. And it gave me a chance to break the ice in front of you. Now you can break my ice with your claps. Okay, I'm okay.